procedural assignment statement. Now this statement represents in hardware logic that is derived from the expression on the right hand side of the assignment statement and thus driving the variable that appears on the left hand side of the assignment. So it is important to note that procedural assignments can appear only within an always statement. And there are two kinds of these assi uh, procedural assignment statements as blocking and non-blocking. So we would be understanding them in detail now. Coming on to the blocking procedural assignments, uh, the example shown here is of a blocking procedural assignment statement. And uh, this shows here the module blocking with a preset and count and we can see the input. Uh, 0 down to 2 preset and then output 3 down to 0 count and uh, the registered well we are all initializing all these variables right and uh, uh, ultimately we are assigning preset plus 1 so what is that uh, what is that when we are assigning that value to count this example is a typical example of a blocking <laughs> blocking uh, in procedural assignment uh, uh, there are two types two kind of procedural assignment we will be looking in. Uh, one is the blocking, the other one is non-blocking. Uh, in procedural assignment, uh, we use initial and always. Uh, we don't use initial in the procedural block because it is not synthesizable. Uh, yeah, we will use always block. In this example, you know, what we could see here that, uh, that there are two inputs. Uh, one input preset which is of 3-bit uh, and the other output which is of 4-bit count and if there is always at the rate of preset if there is any change in the preset uh, this block would execute the value of output count is equal to count uh, preset plus one so whenever there is any change in the preset um, the output would be incremented by the preset plus one so in this block it's a uh, procedural assignment it, it, uh, it describes an adder which takes the preset and the integer 1 as an input and places the result in the variable count. But one thing we should note in the procedural assignment that it could also appear within an initial st uh, statement as uh, we discussed earlier. The initial statement is not synthesizable so we ignore the initial statement. Okay, so we have to note yes that uh, procedural assignment can also appear within in uh, initial statement but initial statement not is not supported for the synthesis yes right well now we have a look on the blocking procedural assignment so as indicated here uh, what is the most important thing to understand here could you explain our audience uh, combinational circuit from the blocking procedural assignments? And this is a typical example of a blocking procedural assignment. Mm, here the hardware formed is, uh, uh, th uh, th uh, this particular hardware which is formed is, uh, it is formed from the always block. And this could be, uh, uh <coughs> you can't expect uh, f for every, uh, technology the same hardware the hardware may be different the thing is that uh, since it's a blocking assignment we will get a uh, most probably a combinational circuit like this so we don't have to worry about what uh, circuit would be getting that so as we understand what is blocking procedural assignment uh, it's just a typical layout on to the shift operators the Verilog HTL synthesis supports two operators here the left shift and the right shift as seen here the vacated bits are all filled with a zero and the right operand and the right operand which is the amount of shift may either be a constant or a variable and in both the cases combinational logic is produced so when shifting by a constant, simple rewiring is performed and when shifting by a variable, a general purpose shifter is synthesized. Uh, what's your idea about these shift operators? Yeah, in the shift register, in the, in the left shift register, as we discussed earlier, uh, the all the awakens bit, which uh, suppose uh, there is a... Uh, like how we shift uh, in a cyclic uh, manner with all the shifting yes. of the bits and uh, one bit from the left goes towards the right yes. and that is how the left shift and then the right shift is moving the bits towards the right hand side. Yes. 
and uh, well that's very clear as we already know what are shift operators and uh, the use of it would be indicated uh, uh, in Verilog and during the synthesis and this is how uh, these shift operators their working would be clearly understood when we are actually coding yes the example of a shift operator so what do you think about this the constant shift as shown here with the data uh, multiplexing and then the address we receive address on the other hand and we have the inverters here and I can see that uh, this example is for making a constant shift so what's your idea about this in this example it's a uh, it's example of a shift operator uh, here we will use a constant for shifting that whenever you are shifting uh, here 2 is used uh, as a constant to shift the data max so whenever we should shift to date uh, two values which we are shifting uh, it could be like so ground it is the two bits uh,